What's going on guys, Philly here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube and I'm in Louisiana with Superlift. So before I introduce the guy, I'll just go over uh, the questions. So this is 10 questions for Superlift. So first off, who are you? What do you do here and what do you drive? I'm Mike McLaughlin. Uh, I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Superlift Suspension in West Monroe, Louisiana. I actually drive our 2018 SEMA truck, which is a 2019 Silverado with a six inch kit on it. Sweet. What else is done to that? Uh, it's got our black diamond kit. Uh, it's got a prototype black diamond kit also on it. It's got American Force uh, 22 by 10s uh, with Nittos uh, wrapped around all four corners. Um, it's also wrapped in a matte gray 3M, uh, what they call charcoal matte gray. So you kind of talked a little bit about it, uh, the Black Diamond name. So that's something that you guys have kind of had for a while, but it's kind of been hiding. So what's new for Superlift in 2019? What's going on with Black Diamond? So right now we're just we're still kind of continuing the development of Black Diamond. Uh, we did release Black Diamond on the JL last year. Uh, we did have a what we call long travel kit mm -hmm. uh, on the JL last year in the booth um, at CMA. We also had the 2019 set up on the Chevrolet. Silverado. Uh, really, it, it, it included kicker braces, full belly pan, full skid plates, thicker steel, uh, and so on. So, and, and most of the black diamond will be featured with King. So Superlift's been around for really quite a while. How did it kind of get its start? Like, what, who was coming together to get this whole thing set So, up? believe it or not, uh, it started back in the 1970s, um, and it was owned by a company called uh, Birmingham Spring, uh, and, and Brett partnered with them. Um, the old owner, Brett Lovett, and uh, from there, um, he kind of bought out his partners. He had the warehouse here still in West Monroe, Louisiana. They did move most of the uh, suspension side to uh, Durango, Colorado for a lot of testing and, and so on. And then as time went on, he bought out his partners, moved everything back here and the rest of the Yeah, because then it was Lift Kits Inc. It was for Lift a while. Kit Inks for, and then Rocky Mountain Suspension, then changed to Superlift Suspension. Yeah, and you've been Superlift now for how many years? Uh, decades. 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 And then, um, lo and behold, Superlift was the original manufacturer of suspen off-road suspension. Yeah, like the very first the people very first, ever to make lift yes, kits. Correct. Yeah, yes. which is something that I think a lot of people don't know. Don't but, know uh, that, yep. Partly because of name changes and things like that, and just like, Superlift kind of died out of the scene in like 2008-ish roughly, but you guys still make kits for just about all the modern vehicles that are all on the All the modern roads. vehicles, we've got everything up through 2018 with Ford, Chevy, Ram, um, Jeep. Yeah, working on all the 19 stuff. Working on 19 all the 19 Ranger, 19 stuff. Ram. Ranger, Ram, Silverado, all the good stuff. And then of course now the 2020 HD models. So then the next question for you is, uh, this is a very tricky one here. Coke or Pepsi? Oh, Pepsi. Really? Pepsi. Cherry, uh, in, in fact, Cherry Pepsi. No, Cherry Coke. No, Cherry that's Pepsi. That's the way to go. That was a simple and easy. That's, I thought you were going to say You're stressing out about this question. <laughs> no. Mustard or ketchup. No, or cheese, you know. uh, Although they said I should be asking sweet or unsweet. Now, if you want to do Mountain Dew versus Mellow Yellow. Oh, well then I go It's Mellow Dew. Yellow. No, Mountain Dew. No, Mellow oh, Yellow. Gosh. So what is the best part about working for Super League? Oh, no doubt the people. Yeah? People. Um, the, uh, the the people around here, there are some of the people who have been around here for 20 years. Um, you know, I, I, I came over from one of the tunnel divisions uh, from Truck Hero uh, back in 2018. I had had previous years, but the people make this place what it is. Yeah, and it's a uh, relatively small like operation as yeah, far as, yeah. like, I think um, people think that these liquid manufacturers are hundreds of people. And no, we have a good core of people here from uh, from uh, metal forms or the guys up in metal forms to the engineering team to everyone like Terry and Blake and, and um, Brian and Tech and Gene and, and Christine and, and customer service. It's the people that make everything. And then of course, you know, Mike Morris, who's been around mm -hmm. a long time here. Um, you know, we are still a bunch of enthusiasts. We live and sell, we basically sell what we live. Yeah. Um, we build it for the enthusiasts. Whether you want to go off-roading on the weekend or mall crawling to the local mall, you know, <laughs> yeah. crawling to the local malls. We make uh, the suspension. Um, and again, we're still trying to do, trying to perfect it. Um, it's a constant change in world in, in the terms of suspension. Absolutely. Uh, what was your first vehicle? First vehicle was a 1985 Ozenbill Cutlass Broham Edition. Nice. Uh, I was working at Weld Racing at the time. Uh, it had 15 by 12s on the rear and 15 by three and a halfs on the front. Sweet. Not a ton of people know, but Superlift actually had its own TV show for a while. We did. So tell me about that. So it started in 1999. Uh, it ran for nine seasons, in which it still can be found on TV today. Uh, if, if those out there that have Revan, uh, REV, apostrophe, and TV, uh, you can find it on all, all the networks. Um, 
or all the you know YouTube. Uh, you can find it on uh, Roku, Apple TV. Sure. Uh, I actually have it loaded on my Roku at home. You can still watch every season. Uh, and this is all like off road. Off road from um, off road clubs that we partnered with to tech talk about lift kits and level kits and all that good stuff. It's still. Uh, ran on TV Day, although it ended in uh, after nine seasons in 2007. So with uh, everything that's going on in the truck scene today, there's a ton of people that are running like you know 26 by 14s, and they got super skinny rubber band tires. Then there's the opposite end of the spectrum with the 17 by eight and a halfs, you know, with 35s, 37s, and so on. What are you, a big wheel, small tire, or small wheel, big tire guy? I'm a mix. A mix. I'm a mutt. All right. Um, actually, on my truck right now, we're dry, uh, you know, it's a 20, 22 by 10, 10 with, a, yeah. with a 35 inch tire. Um, obviously, it was for SEMA and stuff, but if if I had my own thing, I'd, I'd do a 17 by 9, 18 by 9 with a large tire. Yeah. And uh, it kind of depends on the vehicle, too. I feel like Superlift in general has been like one of these bigger, like off road type brands and not so much the mall crawler stuff, but you guys still make big kits. We still make big kits. We make our eight inch uh, king kit for the 14, to, or actually 07 to 18 mm -hmm. uh, GM. We make our king kit um, available for the F250s up to an eight inch. Um, we make our king kit for the, the, the current Ford F150 up to a six inch. What is your favorite Matchbox truck that Superlift has been a part uh, of? It's gotta be, uh, actually it's gotta be the brush truck. Yeah. Um, they did that back in 2011. Um, it was in the Ford booth at SEMA. Um, it was, it's one of the most unique vehicles I've ever seen. Uh, hands on. Um, to see it in person and then to and see, then see it a little tiny car. version. Um, so we've, we've partnered with Matchbox and, and Hot Wheels over the last several decades. Um, that we've had like several vehicles. We've had our JK, a couple JKs done. So, but the favorite would have to be that brush truck. So then, last question here. If you had unlimited budget uh, and you're building a vehicle for yourself, would you rather build yourself a old school K-Series or a brand new 2019-2020 Silverado? K-Series. Yeah. I already have the 2019 Silverado. Yeah. Um, what if you no, could only have one? Only if I had one? I'd still go old school. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm an old school kind of guy. Um, all the bells and whistles on the trucks, yeah, they're nice to have today. Um, but there's something sexy about a square body Chevy that's sitting on you know eight to 12 inches. Um, it's got a 17, 18 by nine on it with yeah. you know, a 37 or you know 40, 40 inch tire. Just that that is that is cool. Now ultimately, it's got to be a 66 to 77 Bronco. Uh -huh. So that would be the that. no budget. But yeah. if I had to choose it, it between the current Silverado and the old old square body Silverado, mm -hmm. it's definitely old school. Cool. So those are 10 questions for Superlift. If you guys want to check out Superlift kits, we got them all on the website, customhousesets.com. You can pick them up there. If you guys have any other questions on Superlift stuff or lift kits in general, you can always drop those in the comments. I think that's about it. Awesome. Peace.